Welcome back. Well, February is American Heart Month and women are increasingly at risk for heart disease. It claims more than half a million lives each year, but many of those deaths can be prevented. Joining me now is Dr. Pam Markovitz, cardiologist and director of the Ministrelli Women's Heart Center at Beaumont Health. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you, Mira. Now we often hear about heart disease, heart attacks, but I, I was hoping you could start off by establishing that connection because sometimes the two terms get conflated. Right, so heart disease is the big term for heart disease, uh, for heart attack, stroke, uh, cardiovascular disease, for heart attack, stroke, heart failure. But when we talk about heart disease, we're usually talking about heart attack, which is caused by a plaque on the inside of an artery that gets to a certain size and then ruptures or cracks open and a blood clot forms, cutting off that blood supply right away. So mm -hmm. that's what we think of as being, you know, heart disease. Okay, and how does somebody know if they're at risk for having a heart attack? Well, that's a good question because there are risk factors that we can know uh, about ourselves. There's five major ones, and we always tell people, know your numbers, know your blood pressure, one tw less than 120 over 80 being ideal, know your total cholesterol, we want that to be less than 200, uh, know w whether or not you have diabetes by getting a fasting blood sugar checked, we want that to be less than 100 for your fasting sugar, and then uh, also knowing your waistline, which is should be less than 35 inches, and your body mass index, which uh, is sort of like, is your weight okay for your height? And we want that to be less than 25. If those things are all ideal, you are lowering your risk. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that if all those things are, are optimal, you're lowering your risk. We estimate about 80% for having wow. a heart attack within 10 years. And that's the beautiful thing is that it's preventative. If you are cognizant of all of these things that you need to be doing exactly. on a day to day. Now, how does somebody know? I mean, when it comes to a heart attack, are the symptoms different for a woman versus a man? They absolutely can be. We think that most women who have heart attacks still have chest pain. That's the primary symptom, but it might be subtler mm -hmm. and or sharp. Uh, it may also go up to the jaw, over to the left shoulder, or to the back, and uh, really, you just have to be aware. It must be. It might be sudden onset shortness of breath, or just feeling very weak and nauseated. Okay, so what are some of the ways that women, in particular, can minimize the risk? So. As, as I mentioned, 80% of heart disease is felt to be pre preventable. And one of the main th ways that we can do that is by adhering to a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. So it, getting enough exercise, about 150 minutes of just moderate exercise, like brisk walking in a week, so that works out to about 30 minutes, five times a week, or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise, and then eating healthy, you know, fruits, vegetables, lean protein, uh, yeah. whole grains. Exercise is, is definitely critical. Let me ask it's you, key. when should a, a woman or a man uh, get their heart checked, and, and how often? So, you know, we tell women when they're in their 40s, especially if they have any symptoms and those risk factors or if they were related to somebody directly related who had a heart attack at a young age, you need to get checked out. But it, even in the 20s, is not too early to start knowing those numbers we talked about, like cholesterol, blood pressure, and whether or not you're at risk for diabetes. And your center, uh, the Ministrelli Women's Heart Center, does a lot of wonderful work doing these screenings. You've done hundreds, thousands of these, and so that's one place uh, in the Metro Detroit area that people can go, I'm assuming, to, to get their heart checked out. Absolutely. We thank you so much for this information. It's a critical issue. We want everyone to pay attention. Dr. Pam Markovitz, thank you.